Hey guys, in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to dockerize a WordPress website using Docker Compose. So I will show you the deployment of WordPress application combined with MySQL database for the data persistency. So if you watch my last two dockerization project, you have seen how to deploy Python Flask application with Nginx by deploying a Docker file from the scratch. Then we have covered how to build web app with Node.js and Nginx. With the docker file and docker compose those are the good foundation but requires some manual steps so if you do this often then it became a tiring to repeat all these steps so the idea for this video is to automate this process as much as possible i hope you enjoy let's get started now to understand today's project let's go through the topology diagram first we will build the mysql database server as you are aware, MySQL runs on port 3306. Once we build the MySQL server, we will integrate with the WordPress app. So in an ideal case, we will be building a Docker file for each containers, then use the Docker Compose to run the containers. However, in this video, we will make everything using Docker Compose. So we will build advanced Docker Compose file, which include how to call environment variable, how to attach a volume then create a custom network specifically for this app so this will be an interesting video so let's go ahead and see how to build the docker compose file to begin with i will create a project directory here and i'll update all the files so for this project we'll need to define in the environment variable which include all the sensitive information like username and password for the security purpose it's always a good idea to make it separate and keep all the credential inside .env file. Next, we would define a Docker Compose file to configure the services. Docker Compose uses a docker-compose.yml file to build the Docker images. This file contains the service definition for the complete setup for the application. For this demo, we will be using MySQL and the WordPress image. For that, let's head over to the Docker Hub page and understand the important parameters required to build this each images. So I'm here in the Docker Hub and search MySQL. So let's check the official one and we'll go down and find out. So to build this app, we need to define the environment variables. So the environment variables are like necessary to facilitate communication between the WordPress application and the database. So we need to specify the root password. We need to give a name for the database. Then also give the username and password. And here is a sample Docker Compose file. Similarly for the WordPress, we need to configure the database container name then the db user and the db password and here is the, an example for the docker compose file so this is the, the container name mentioned over here then user password and the db name you see how we can do this when we are writing the docker compose file so enough on the theory, let's start building today's project. To get started, let's set the environmental variable first. We just need to define only four parameters here. We can reuse those for both images. I'll show you that while writing the Docker Compose file. The first parameter would be the root password. Then we'll define the database name. Then finally, we specify the database username and password that's pretty much we need to set it on the environment variable next we will build the docker compose file to configure services the first line in the docker compose is the version definition so we are setting three four hours then we can start defining our services so we'll start with the db first for the db image we'll use mysql image We'll set the container name as db instead of docker picking a random name. 
I'll set the restart policy to determine the restart behavior of the container. The default is no and we'll set it as unless hyphen stop. Then comes to the important one which is defining the volume used for specifying the mount location. In our example, we have mounted a new volume called dp underscore data to the slash var slash clip slash mysql directory on the container which is usually the standard data directory for mysql next is the environment which is used to specify additional environment variables in this tutorial we have specified all the variables under dot env for our application we are calling by putting the variable inside the parentheses then we'll specify the network please note that when we run a docker compose it creates its own network but in this video we will learn how to create our own network so we will call the variable called networks then provide the network name next we'll see how to build service definition for wordpress app we'll call the service in the container name as wp we'll use the latest wordpress image for this and define the restart policy the mount volume called wordpress to the slash mount point created by the wordpress image the naming of the volume allows the sharing of application code with other containers Next we have to bind the port between the host machine. We only expose port 80 to allow access to the front end website pages. We will define additional variables here. For our case we are defined the wordpress underscore db underscore host which refers to the mysql server running on the db container and accessible from mysql default port 3306. The username and password we are assigning them with the values of the variable from the .env file. The depends word ensures that the containers are started in order of dependency. In our case the WordPress container depends on the db container. Hence it will start after the db container has been started. This needs to happen in this order because the WordPress app depends on the availability of MySQL database. Finally we add the WordPress container to the WPDB network to ensure it communicates with other containers on the network. That's all about WordPress service configuration. Our Docker Compose file is almost complete. However, you also need to add the network and the volume definition below the WordPress service. The volumes keyword define the volume to be shared with all the services defined in the Compose file. Please note that the content of the volume that docker creates are stored in the directory managed by the docker in the host file system slash var slash lib slash docker slash volumes. The content of each volumes are then mounted to any containers that uses that volume. This makes it possible to share the data and the code between the containers. The network key defines the bridge network that allow the communication between the containers. Containers on the same bridge network such as WordPress and the DB can communicate securely through the ports without exposing the traffic to the outside networks. So this is how our the final Docker Compose file look like. The greatest advantage of Docker Compose is that once you have defined all your services in the Docker Compose file, you can start all the containers with just one command, which is docker compose up. The command runs every instruction you have specified. And you can mention hyphen D flag for running the containers in the background. If you see the output like the screenshot here, the services are created successfully. To confirm the status of the service, run docker hyphen compose ps command. The output of this command says that everything is successful, the app and the db containers status shows up. If something went wrong, you can check the logs of each container using the command docker compose logs then specify the service name all right now we complete all the configuration part and we'll now head to the testing the application to navigate the wordpress home page we can access with the host machine ip address without any port number to get the wordpress started we need to configure the site information username password and the email id now we are inside the wordpress Next, we'll test the data persistency. For that, we'll add the block title and publish it here. If you can see our block is inside the block section. Next, we'll go back to the shell and try to restart the containers. We'll restart with both containers with the docker compose command. 
Let's try to bring the services back. We'll use hyphen D to work in detached mode. We can see the services came back. Let's check the status of newly created network with the docker inspect command. You can see our database and WordPress part of the same bridge network provisioned by the docker compose. Finally, let's check we can see our blog post still persist. Yes, it is available. That's pretty much we have in this video. If you're watching my channel first time, be sure to subscribe and press like button and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, please try to share with others so that they will inspire to learn technologies. And thanks for your time. See you next time with some more exciting topic.